morning, Southwest Florida. This is an April Herald Morning Report. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have an update from the Democratic debate, a plan getting back on track, U.S. football season taking a turn, and more. Today is Thursday, October 15th, and this is the Morning Report. Governor Rick Scott continues telling business leaders to pressure lawmakers for more incentive money to help attract companies to Florida, despite the pushback from the state Senate. Scott on Tuesday reiterated his position that Enterprise Florida, the state's business recruiting arm, is running short of cash for incentives. The governor, who said he will outline his approach to the 2016 legislative session, including a call for more tax cuts, during an Associated Press media event Wednesday in Tallahassee. He has been campaigning for the incentive funding increase for nearly two months. Looks like it is very important to Scott to get jobs. Forceful and confident, Hillary Clinton had a very strong performance in the Democratic presidential debate. Clinton sought to defuse questions about her record by portraying herself as President Barack Obama's natural successor, the person he turned to when looking for his first Secretary of State. When asked how she'd differ from Obama, Clinton mildly noted that she would be the first woman president if elected. For more details on the two-hour debate, check out Naples Herald. University of Florida's surprising football season now has a startling twist. Quarterback Will Greer was suspended one year for violating the NCAA's policy on performance-enhancing drugs. He will return as a third-year sophomore next October. Greer, who gained 20 pounds in his first 18 months on campus, failed a drug test in the last two weeks. Greer said Monday he took an over-the-counter supplement but did not specify which one. For more details, check out our website. A plan to dredge away shallow spots in the Wiggins Pass Channel is about to get back on track. Collier County announced. The $250,000 project began in July and has been beset by weather delays due to a rainy summer and occasional tropical threats, including Tropical Storm Erica in August. The county expects the work to be done by the end of the year. The summer dredge operations is meant to clear away shallow spots that have appeared in the pass over the last few years. Clearing the pass allows for boats to have easier passage through the narrow channel out to the Gulf of Mexico. Sand pushed into the channel by storms in the Gulf has made portions of the past in the past as shallow as just a few feet, increasing the risk of boats running aground or into each other. Boaters enjoy that area when the project is finished. More Americans are buying cars and dining out as the U.S. economy has entered its seventh straight year of expansion. But cheaper gasoline prices suppressed overall retail sales growth. Retail sales rose just 0.1% last month. Economists watch the retail sales report closely because it provides the first indication each month of the willingness of Americans to spend. Well, congrats to anyone in the retail industry. That was the Morning Report for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.